Well, everybody, I'm sitting here in line at the pharmacy. I don't know if you've ever done that, but it takes forever. Anyway, I want to follow up on the Avenge X and the Avenger rifles because, guys, they are they are ripping you off so bad on these rifles. It's hysterical. I mean, and I, I tell it how it is. I don't care what people think about me. I don't care what they say in the comments, which the comments on the videos are funny too. Because, for one, I do know more than the air gun manufacturer. A lot of people like to spout off that. You don't understand what I do for a living, okay? I'm a mechanical engineer who designs automated robotic systems that use hydraulic and pneumatic systems that I also have to customize and design per application. You guys don't understand that. Unless you're working beside me every day, you don't know what I do, okay? These air guns are nothing compared to what I do daily, all right? So that's first off. And I shouldn't have to explain myself. You guys, some of you already know this. I already designed my own stuff for air guns. There's no question about it, right? There's no question that I know how to shoot. Now, there are certain instances I can't control, and I'll get into that too. But the Avenger rifle will outshoot the Avenge X night and day. As long as I've shot the Avenger since 2020, I can guarantee you with the way the Avenge X is set up, it's not it's not right. And people were starting to realize that when I called out and said the Avenge X should not share the same hammer spring. Well, come to find out as well, with the hammer spring issue, Air Venturi has tried to share the ha same hammer spring and all the regular Avenger rifles as well. They made a swap, and I don't know exactly what part of the year or what time frame they did it, but I do know for a fact that the springs that they sell in the parts kits for you to buy to repair your rifle is not the identical spring that was originally in the Avengers when they came out for the first time. They had a black spring in them. If you've ever taken your gun apart, you would know that. The parts kits has a silver spring. There is a difference. The silver spring is more powerful and thicker coils. That's the definition of a coil spring. Uh, to increase its strength or make it stiffer, you have to have a more of a diameter of a coil and tighter coils, basically. But other than that, not to get too technical, it's a different spring that they're selling in the kits now, and it's a different spring that they are putting in the Avenger rifles than what they did before. Because, for instance, I have friends that message me all the time about their air guns. I'm 100%, you know, okay with helping people out. No, no problem about it. But I've received photos and proof of this that his Avenger, my friend's Avenger, had the silver spring in it from out of the box. And guess what? It broke the coils off. Same thing happened to me when I first put the silver spring kit in my Avenger 25 when I was getting it set up for the Pyramid Air Cup in, in August of 2023. Well, the spring broke. So I was like, you know what? I'm going bottle route. I went to a bottle conversion on my 25, put a new spring in it, no problems. Well, the bottle that I put on had a lot more volume than the two air cylinders that come with the Avenger. You need more back pressure if your hammer spring is a lot stiffer or stronger. It's common sense, really. It's not that hard. And so, come to find out, my bottle adapter started to leak on me. And it happened right before competition, so I had to switch back to the original air cylinders in the gun right before the competition. Literally a week before, not even joking. And so that's why the gun did not like to shoot that well. I try to get as close as possible the way it was shooting before because it just doesn't make any sense that it shot so great and then all of a sudden I get to competition and it doesn't shoot that well. That's not how it works. Like I mentioned in the video about the results, 
I said it was partially my fault, it was partially the gun's fault, and I did have interference. So, you know, a lot of people like to put words in my mouth, which is not the truth, and try to take away from my videos that is not the truth, and, you know, spread lies and rumors about me. It's hysterical. But, then again, let's get back on to the Avenge X guns, guys, because... <laughs> People are having a lot of trouble with their 25 caliber Avenge X. Why? Well, come to find out, there's been forums on this gun now since it's been out for a while, and people are saying that the spring was designated and designed for the 22 caliber, as I said in my video. Whether you like it or not, I can't help that. I know how air pneumatic systems work. Again, I'm an engineer. I do know as much, if not more, than the designers of the air guns do. It's not that complicated if you're in the business. Now, what I am is an outsider seeing it from an engineer's perspective and how they screwed you guys. I don't know what to tell you. It's the truth. Whether you like me or hate me, I don't really care. I tell it how it is and people don't like it. You know, and everybody, I've seen comments roll in now. Well, did you see Steve's video? He got it tuned. Good for Steve, right? Steve does put out good videos. I will admit they are they're great but here's the thing guys he said the exact same thing i said word for word at the beginning of his video about flow hammer spring flow pressure pellet weight you name it he said exactly the same thing you guys aren't clicking here just because it's me that i said it that's all it is i know i'm that smart you guys don't understand that i mean it's really not that complicated you don't need a chronograph to really tune an air gun. I'm telling you, you don't. I've done it before. There's many ways to tune an air gun, not just Steve's way. And speaking of Steve, he even admitted that he's had the gun for months to get those tunes for you guys. I did it all on tape right then and there when I tuned it right out of the box. Now, I left the gun the same settings as out of the box for like a week or two just to see how it was shooting. And I took it hunting like I said. There's no reason to lie about it. There's no reason to hide about it. Then I tuned it for you guys. There's no point in sitting there having a 40-minute video showing the gun already tuned. That makes no sense. And another thing is I don't really care about giving settings out to people because of my elevation. People live in different areas. It could be in the mountains. It could be at sea level. I don't care about giving people out giving information out to people to set their guns up because it's going to be off and people know that people who live up in the northwest and down southeast two different tunes so to sit there and say for 100 percent certainty that this is the tune for that pellet or this is the tune for that pellet or slug you can't do that now you might get close and it might shoot decent for you i never said the 25 caliber wouldn't shoot at all that's Venge x what i said was it's not going to be that accurate and i have proof of it i've already shot it i've shot it many times and i've gotten the same size groups as steve did barely a half an inch or less at 50 yards it's not that hard <laughs> uh, you guys in the comments are something else man you're killing me here because i know what i'm doing it's not really rocket science if you already know I mean, it's it's. I understand it if you don't know, and I try to explain it in the simplest terms as I can in my videos. I get it. Not everybody can know everything. I don't know everything, but I know enough to get by, and I know enough to produce the results that I want, if that makes sense to you. But at the same time, when you got these guys sitting there commenting, oh, you don't know how to tune, you don't know this, you don't know that, who, do you, who are you talking to, buddy? Like, my Avenger, when everything was perfect, it put five pellets in the same hole multiple times at 50 yards. No question about it. I've done it several times on video, off video. It don't matter. But then you want to come at me and tell me I'm doing something wrong, but you, then you have to go to Steve's video and learn how to tune? Get out of here, man. You guys kill me. And, and it's funny, too, because if you really want to dissect my videos and call me out, you really can't because guess what? I use the manual, like it said. 2,000 PSI to 2,400 PSI, one to two turns in on the hammer spring. I did it by the book, and you're still trying to come at me? I don't think so, Scooter. 
Oh, man. I'm telling you. It's hysterical, you guys. And all you're doing is getting screwed over by these air gun companies because it's an air gun. And yes, again, I do know this. I've caught on. I trace this stuff. I keep track. Everybody comes to me with questions. Facebook Messenger. It happens all the time. I've helped hundreds of people with air guns across the globe. But I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I don't know, man. I. <sighs> it's something else. Really is. I mean, it's kind of sad that I tell it how it is and get get all uh, get all the comments and stuff from people that don't want to agree with me and become the YouTube air gun punching bag. But then again, they find out, hey, what he was saying was right. Whether it's forums, whether it happened in person, whatever. <laughs> oh, oh, I don't know anymore. It's just funny. But anyway, an update on my Avenge X. Since everybody wants to know, I had to send it back because it was leaking a thousand PSI overnight. And I'm probably not going to get another one because what I found out about it, I found out some more stuff and I'm not going to relay the message because obviously nobody really cares. I mean, some of you do, but at the same time, you'll figure it out. Like I said, if I was going to get one, a Vengex, it would be the 22. And again, claims on the forums that I've been hearing about from other people outside of me saying my video become true so there you go anyways i hope you got something from this video and i hope you understand where i'm coming from because i don't i'm not responding to people in the comments anymore no matter how much you try to bait me because i know what i know and there's no denying it whether you like me again or not all because you sit there and watch my videos and you can't do what i can what i can do it's not my problem figure it out you know, don't know what to tell you. I told you guys, a lot of you already, how I do it. And just because you can't comprehend it or figure it out, I can't, I can't help you there. That's not, that's not something I could do. But anyways, I'm getting ready to pull up to the window here to get some uh, medicine from the pharmacy. So I just thought I'd let you know on a little update. <laughs> uh, I didn't need months to figure the Vengex out, you know, and I, I, the gun will tell you where it needs to be shot at with any projectile. It's simple as that. Really that simple. If you know air pneumatic systems like all these guys spouting off does, you don't. Because, again, like I said, Steve said word for word at the beginning of his video, flow. Flow regulator. So there you go. So, hope to see you guys on the next one. If I lose subscribers over this, I really don't care. You still watch me anyway. <laughs> 